There's a couple things I want to talk about today, so let's just dive into this shit. I recently turned 26 on August 2nd. It was my birthday. I celebrated by sticking a couple extra fingers up my butthole that night. That's not the point. The support on the channel and the streams have just been overwhelming, more than I could ever ask for, so I didn't need any birthday gifts because I truly am, as cliche as this is, beyond thankful for the support. So instead of receiving gifts, I wanted to do a backdoor reach around and change the game here, reinvent the meta, and give all of you a gift for my birthday. And that gift I'll be giving you as a little secret Santa here is video ideas. A couple video ideas I've been sitting on for a long time that I'm not going to do anything with, but for any up-and-coming aspiring content creators, maybe you could execute these ideas and it could launch your internet career. I think they're absolute bangers, I just don't really want to do them myself. So the first idea was around Halloween where I was going to wear this blow-up doll as like a skin suit. Kind of like some Ed Gein shit here. Uh, the blow-up doll kind of just right now looks like one of those ancient fish that we discover once every like decade where it's like some prehistoric fish that looks like actual dog shit in the ocean. So the reason why I didn't do this, but I think it's a great idea, is because this blow-up doll is like wearing broken glass. Like, it's nothing but jagged edges. It's like you're trying to have sex with Lara Croft from the PS1 era. I, I just didn't want to blow her up and get inside because I'd probably emerge covered in lacerations. So while I do think it'd be a good idea to wear, like, a blow-up sex doll like this as a Halloween costume for something, it just wasn't worth the risk for me because this would be about as painful as jumping into a jet turbine. So, I mean, it feel free to pursue that if you'd like. But the next one was actually a lot less dangerous, it's just I didn't feel like doing it. I even got the props I needed for it, so. The idea was, uh, I bought this signed Michael Vick jersey, and it was a Christmas gift for my dogs, where I was going to wear this Michael Vick jersey and let them beat me up. Kind of as a way for dogs to get revenge on Michael Vick for what he did to them. I just thought it'd be cool to give the gift of revenge to dogs for the fucked up shit Michael Vick did. But I couldn't do this one because my dogs aren't aggressive at all and they wouldn't even pretend to hurt me or do anything like that and they wouldn't even destroy the jersey or anything so the idea just wouldn't work. So yeah I just wasted like 50 bucks on Michael Vick's jersey and it'll serve no purpose other than just wiping my ass with it. But anyway those are two video ideas that I think anyone could uh, you know use and maybe find some big success with perhaps. I figured it was worth at least putting it out there if anyone wants to try some new creative shit. But on to the next thing I wanted to talk about, and it's something that I've struggled with for a long time. I've been waging a little war with myself about whether or not to open a P.O. box. Because I've always kind of liked watching the P.O. box unboxing videos, especially like iDubs Bad Unboxing, and it always looked super fun. I just never felt like I'd enjoy doing it personally. Until recently during a stream, the topic came up again, and someone in the chat said, Hey man, you know, I'm a vendor at a card shop. I could send you some of the unused Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we don't do shit with. And I swear to God, my eyes lit up with little twinkles in them like a child who just got told his parents aren't getting divorced. Uh, my pupils dilated. The temptation to sin became overwhelming. My asshole puckered. Uh, you know, it was like a scene out of Tom and Jerry with the devil and the angel on the shoulder. The devil was screaming, Charlie, open that fucking P.O. box. There's Yu-Gi-Oh cards, ahoy. And even the angel was like, Charlie, it's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You may want to consider this. Obviously, like a sensible man, I decided to open the P.O. box. I wasn't going to let that opportunity fall down the shitter. And it's not because I have a problem. I don't have a problem. I just happen to like some children's card games toys. I mean, who doesn't, huh? Is it a crime to like children's trading cards? I don't think so. And if it is, then the law is wrong. How about that? Maybe I'm having a midlife crisis. What are you going to do about it, pussy, huh? Maybe I'm going to buy a motorcycle next and get a flaming skull tattooed on my neck. What about it? So yeah, I mean, yeah, I opened a P.O. box for some fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards, as cool and adult as that sounds. So I decided, since I already opened the P.O. box, I'll just open the floodgates here and just publicly post the P.O. box. You're welcome to send me shit, and I'll probably do some unboxing things with it if it seems like fun. But I just thought, you know, it's already there, I might as well do something with it. And like I said, I've always enjoyed the bad unboxing videos, so just doing something even similar to that I think could be a lot of fun. Obviously it won't be up to Ian's level when it comes to bad unboxing, but I think it'll at least be something enjoyable. Yeah, I'll put the P.O. box in the description below. Feel free to send whatever the fuck you want there. Also, I keep getting asked if I'm only going to open Yu-Gi-Oh card booster boxes and shit. And the answer's no. I'll do Magic and Pokemon, fucking even porn star trading cards if those things exist. Like, sure, I'm always open to, like, opening shit like that. It's a lot of fun. But for the P.O. box, it doesn't just have to be, like, cards and shit. You can send whatever you want there for, like, some bad unboxing kind of shit. 
And uh, once again, I'd like to reiterate, I don't have a problem when it comes to buying Yu-Gi-Oh shit. Uh, at least not a diagnosed addiction or anything like that for the moment. It's just a hobby. It's what I like to call it when it comes to buying Yu-Gi-Oh booster boxes is mystery investing. It, that's exactly what it is. And I don't like this rumor being spread that I have a susceptibility to a gambling addiction. Maybe I bought a lot of scratch-offs when I was younger, but I learned. And now I don't have a problem with gambling. I just buy, I invest in some Yu-Gi-Oh boxes. It sounds pretty sensible to me. But uh, yeah, anyway, just to wrap it all up here, I do want to give another massive thank you to just everyone for all the support recently. Like I said earlier, it has been incredible. Just absolutely overwhelming on the channel, on streams. It's just been absolutely fucking wild. So really, thank you so, so much. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.